coach Dave Brussel here. How you doing? All right, all right, all right. I'm doing you look well. Like you slimmed down a little. Yeah, I, I slimmed down. You I bulk up. Like, or are you there? You let your beard grow more. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of both. A little gray or a little slimmer. You'll be tested mightily this weekend. So to explain how things are going, and not only prepare, preparation for the game this this weekend, but going forward. Um, bottom line is, is you know, we we talked all all off season about the fact that we were preparing for 15 weeks um, and uh, you know, a lot of people come into the season preparing for 10 but our, our goals are, are, are pretty high. We have a lot of respect. Obviously there's some other great teams in, eight, in 8A that, that we know um, that we're going to have to see down the road but uh, we believe that uh, we have a group of young men that have prepared themselves for a championship run. Do you feel this could possibly be the best team you've had up to this point? Um, I, I think this is the team that has the best chance. I mean, you know, we were a biscuit sniff away when, when we lost when we lost in that dogfight to, to Columbus two two years ago, and Colin was a freshman, at, you know, a first team All County guy in the Herald that threw for over two thousand yards. And uh, in our spread offense, as explosive as he was, you know, in spread offenses in general, you know, the the, the, the quarterback play. Is so key. So, um, you know, we're, we're going into a season with as talented a wide receiver core as anybody in South Florida, and and we feel um, one of the true elite quarterbacks in the state. So, that and our black shirt defense just does what they always do. Um, you know, they they're going to be dominant. Webley Etienne is a rare four year starter. We've only had a few of those guys. A big time D one guy, and it's now it's his fourth year. He's leading that defense. Um, we feel mighty good. Colin, uh, in regards to starting a quarterback, obviously you missed a big chunk of last year because of COVID, uh, but you proved you were, you were still available and ready when you played that Deerfield game last year and almost rallied your team to win. Talk about this upcoming year, how much you prepared for it. Where do you feel you've learned the most to become a better quarterback? Yeah, it's been exciting. Um, obviously, we, we weren't able to do what we wanted to do last year, so uh, we really took advantage once that offseason came. You know, we were... We were throwing a lot, you know, seven on sevens, throwing sessions whenever we really could. We got in the weight room as soon as possible, you know, and uh, being a better quarterback, I mean, just getting that getting that chemistry down for sure, you know. I pretty much know my guys like the back of my hand, my receiving core. I'm really excited to uh, go out there and compete finally for the first week of the season on Friday. And, Coach, uh, in regards to your schedule, uh, you have a pretty tight schedule this year. I mean, you got some quality teams on it. Uh, how much was that done on purpose to make you guys a better football team? It was done 100 percent on purpose. Uh, we 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 requested uh, we requested uh, Chaminade. We requested St. Thomas. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were the first game uh, St. Thomas scheduled. Um, Harriet reached out to me. We both reached out to Rocky um, and uh, Mir Miramar. You know, is my alma mater. I, I love playing those guys and uh, ha having those battles. Um, you know, we anticipated. Hollandale being a, a high-powered team, and and that didn't work out. So now that that's a little flip in the schedule there. But uh, our uh, our non our non-district uh, schedule, we uh, we we wanted as tough of an opponents as, as as we could play. Again, we're trying to prepare ourselves for a championship run, and uh, you know it, you you got you got to play somebody if you want to be somebody. We know we're still the underdog in some of those games, but uh, we have fared extremely well. Um, in the past, uh, you know, four or five years or so, when we were underdogs. Hey, coach, hey guys, uh, Larry Bluestein. Hey, Blue. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for joining us here on our uh, on our media day. Uh, Wesley, uh, obviously, uh, getting an opportunity to be a four-year starter is is amazing, and congratulations on your commitment. Well deserved. You worked extremely hard uh, to be in the position uh, that you're in. Uh, you get the most. I think you benefit the most out of this season. You've got a receiving core that, as Coach said, is as good as any uh, that mm -hmm. you will find in every facet. But you get an opportunity to go against them, and that makes you better. Talk about that. Um, definitely. Um, we always compete in practice. I mean, if anything, we just competed today, one on ones. You know, going against four star um, AJ, um, Julian. You know. We competed like big time today, um, and it's definitely going to get us ready for game time. Uh, what, what what needs to be done for you guys to take that next step? Anybody can answer that. Um, Nick, go ahead. Uh, Start, starting tight end Nick Watson. He, we're expecting oh, him. 
I know Nick very well. Expecting him to have a big breakout year this year. Yes, sir. Way under the radar. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, 707s, I mean, we did miss a lot this year. And uh, it kind of low-key benefited us. We kind of got closer as a group. We got bigger, stronger, faster. And, I mean, 707, at the end of the day, you could be the best guy on the field. And then when the pass come on, you are one probably could be one of the worst. So uh, getting right. better in pads and getting ready to go 15 weeks like Coach Roxy is what we've been trying to do this off season and build together and be a family. Uh, the most important thing on the field is definitely state, so this year is definitely all or nothing. On motion, who are we reading? Running back. He's telling us where all the players are going. Do we understand that? All right. He actually does a great job in his body language when it comes to uh, these right. So you can't really ever tell when it's going to be a jet or when it's going to be a lead or a trap or a kick out or whatever, right? Because his body language is pretty good, right? There's no telltale, okay? So automatic shows emotion. We're checking running back right now. If you f up the read, it'll be on us as coaches. But do what with the we're telling you to do so you don't look stupid. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like, oh, coach, well, you should be stepping this way if this is running back. If Bully is going this way, we're going to step with this. We said the read is him. Go to it. Don't step away from it. Our read is this guy. Cover, 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 cover. There you go. Good. Give it up. Got beat inside, man. Let's go, let's go. For the game. For the game, let's go. Hey, Texas. Kill, kill, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Let's go. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Here we go. Watch the rock, Rodney. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Go banjo. Rock him up. Go banjo. Rock him up. Check, check, check. Charge, charge. 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 Charge, Oh, oh, DJ. Let's go! Let's go! Hey, come back, come back, come back. Sorry. Ow! No. That bit was just coming. There you go. I see a lot of myself as far as personality-wise uh, with Colin from the sense of just a football first guy. Um, but as far as ability goes, man, Colin's got things that I wish I would have had. His ability to just extend plays and to make things happen. Um, that's something that you can't teach that. Coming into the first game in the season, it's more than about the first, you know, the past week of practice. It's about what are those deposits that we made in spring ball? And what are those deposits we made all summer when we were sitting in here um, doing the tug of war in the weight room and doing the plank off and doing things like that? That means more to what we're going to show tomorrow night than anything of what this practice had to do you know, this practice and this week of practice had to do uh, with this game. There you go. He's coming. He's coming. Good job. Make the tackle. Let's go. Jojo, Jojo, what are we in? What are we in? So why is he wide open? Zebra. Jojo, get out. Roger, come on. Let's go. Get out, get out. He's following the damn slant. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now. Banjo to back, Jamar. There you go. Go get it back. There you go. Good job. 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 It all starts with your attitude, guys. Everything changes when you come out here tomorrow. I want to forget everything that we just saw here today. Tuesday is supposed to be the strongest day of the week. We put all our stuff in, and then we build on it Wednesday and tie it up Thursday, ready to go on, on Friday. Today was a waste. We guys walking around, pulling ourselves out, tired. Okay, we got a bunch of new stuff in with guys in new spots, and we got to shuffle everything around. And the energy just was terrible. It was bad. We won't we won't beat anybody like that. I don't care if it's Shaman. It doesn't matter who it is. All right, we'll lose football games like that. You guys got to want it. You got to want it. We got to be better. All right. Listen, if it comes down to it, we'll just go down to our base stuff and run what we're good at. All right, we got stuff that we know we can win with. 
But if we don't got guys all bought in and willing to work and dominate for the guy next to you, it's not gonna work. They killed, they crushed you guys today. You guys just, you guys just took it. It's embarrassing. Jumping off sides, walking, getting hit in the backfield. I mean, it just sucked. It sucked. It was a miserable performance by you guys. I don't care if you're playing checkers. Never let another man beat you at anything. When you're running your sprints, never, if a guy beats you because he's faster than you, he's faster. But don't ever let another man beat you at anything. And that will carry through in life, that you will be successful, which is our number one goal. It's not winning football games. It's producing great young men. I know that's hard for some of you to comprehend. Some of you have been around us enough, <coughs> enough to know that we care about your grade, we care about it for getting fed, we care about all these other things that some places don't care about because it's about producing great young men. We want you to be a family and we believe we've been so successful because we teach that and when it counts, you guys are willing to fight for each other. I'm tired of talking to you. Because you obviously there's something going on in your head you ain't listening. When he get tired of talking to you and I get tired of talking to you, you're going to be on the sideline. As your coach, are you going to be on the sideline? It's, you can never win that battle. It's always going to be, yes, coach, let us go look at the film and find out that we was wrong and we can come back to you and say, hey, you was right. But, but at the end of the day, you're a child and you're a kid and you got to stay in that place. You got to be coachable, JoJo. Right now, you ain't coachable because we looking over you, looking at you. You got every excuse for everything in your head. I was doing this. I was doing it. But you want to do what we telling you to do. So what that look like? And we've already proven that you do what you want to do, you get stowed on. You do what we want you to do, he get what? Please. That's when he get all his books, right? And when he gets stowed on, what is he doing? Everything he want to do. Are you looking over there? So you would think at some point... Take you your would, helmet off so I can see you. Take your helmet You would think at some point that you would Take see and weigh the options of which one is the better one to, to do, correct? Wouldn't that make sense? Jojo, take your helmet off. Because right now you're not playing Friday. So you're going to have to have a hell of a practice tomorrow or you're not going to play Friday. Because I'm not going to give up cheap touchdowns. Uh, I, I could put a cone out there to do what you're doing. To get being a Roger, Roger, Roger can at least get, play cover three for me at the end of the day. So right now you got to have a, a hell of a practice tomorrow. But we want to make you better human beings. More successful human beings. People that can take care of your family someday. Okay? And that's why we worry about your grades. That's why we worry about if you're fed. That's why we worry about all these other things. Okay? But we also believe that leads to winning because when you buy in and you believe and you come together as a family, okay, again, you'll hear me say it, you know, clear eyes, open heart, can't lose. With the talent you have, it ain't about the other team. It's all about you. We got enough talent on this team, okay, to go out and win every game this year. It's not about them. It's about you. Are you willing to be great? Are you willing to put in the work? Are you willing to be humble and say, yes, coach, when a coach is talking and listen Unless a coach asks you a question, he says, what did you see or what did you think? They don't want you to open your dadgum mouth. Do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. Come out with a better mental attitude tomorrow offensively and more energy. And again, let's be great. Let's be great tomorrow in practice so we can be great on Friday night. Yes, coach? Yes, coach. All right, get a breakdown, get in the damn house. Previously in the summer, when they was talking about the game and stuff, and live and shit, you know, a couple of players on Shamanad, it's called you soft. Like, how you feel about that? Like, what you got to I say? mean, because previously, I kind of, like, played with them. But, like, they didn't really see what I could do much because they weren't really throwing the ball. They was running. So, time I touched the ball over there, I, I got an ass on, though. But they just talk. I'm going to show them what this be about Friday. There you go. <clears throat> what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Yeah. That's what the fuck we do, bro. We lock that shit up, bro. Me playing for another team, this game mean a lot to me because I just came from all of them. I know everybody on the team since freshman year. So you feel me? They, they was family and stuff like that. So this game mean a lot to me. I got to prove a lot and put on for Western, you feel me? Yeah, I feel like we locked in. We had great practices, you feel me? They're knowing the stuff. They're knowing where everybody's going to be at and everything. Knowing the calls, being loud. So I think we got this. If y'all think that y'all do it good, good and y'all everything straight, then it's a fucking problem. I ain't scared to say if we're going to take an L based on how y'all acting. I don't give a fuck. I'll say that shit. If that's what I feel, that's what it is. 
I don't mean it's gonna happen. Right? But we done been down this road. Hey, coach, how many times you played the game where well, based on what y'all did, you knew it was a bad fucking feeling. You knew y'all was gonna come out there and do dumb shit, right? That's why I told y'all, stop playing around. Everything y'all do, everything that's going on is talking, kiki, they gonna hit y'all in the mouth. We can only do so much drawing up plays and what the fuck going on. Y'all gotta play the fucking football game, not us. So wake up, trust me, they know the same, they know who they playing. You like y'all know who y'all fucking playing. Keep playing around. Yo. We're not focused on the cheerleaders. We're not focused on the media and the TV cameras. We're not, it's not about any of that. And quite honestly, it's not about Chaminade. It's about us. The game of football is played for four quarters, gentlemen. And the way we teach you to play is for a reason. I'm not going to sit here and repeat to you. You can talk to some of the older guys about all the games we've come back from about how dominant we've been in the second half against great football teams, okay? okay? We don't worry about the scoreboard, we worry about our job, we fight for four quarters, we do it as a family, we do it as a team, and that's why we're giant killers. And that's not Coach Rack talking. The Sun Sentinel said that a few years ago when we knocked off Central when they were three in the state. Then FloridaFootball.com said Western High School is fast becoming the team in the state that no ranked opponent wants to see. Yes, we're the underdog tomorrow. It's okay, you're a great football team. We're the underdog tomorrow. That's where I love to be, okay? That's who we are, it's in our DNA, okay? We love it when people doubt us. I love my haters, they motivate me. Okay? Everybody in the world's picking them to win. That's how you shock the world, okay? You're a great football team. Focus on you, focus on what you've been coached to do. Okay, and come out with the big win tomorrow, gentlemen. I love you guys. When we go in, seniors grab their jerseys first. They should be doing that anyways. You got to get to the mini gym to get your pictures for your banners. Yo, I'm just here. No? It's it like I don't know why y'all like. I feel like, like we're, me and Rack talking about. Yo, it's, it's exciting. <laughs> this is what Florida football is all about. It's exciting. <laughs> we wanted Chaminade. Three years ago, we wanted to play them, and they, they made us play St. Thomas instead. We got what we wanted. We wanted this game. KJ, this is big for you, dog. Mm -hmm. Receivers, they got a crazy DB core of names and rankings, all the rah <laughs> Dog, this is a show, man. I don't know about y'all, if y'all ain't feeling it right now, don't come tomorrow. Hey, man, have fun. I believe in you guys. But y'all gotta believe in yourselves. It starts tonight. Some of y'all going to eat to together as a family and a team together. That's big, I told y'all. Come together. No one can stop you guys. You're for, you're for, you're, uh, it was a uh, all or nothing. Y'all gotta realize things are happening. You only guarantee ten more games. You will never play Chaminade again. Now, what you will remember is gonna happen tonight. Either you're gonna get in that fade and start fading, or you ain't gonna get in none of that. Man, I watched my team win, but without me, boy. Damn, that was a good day. I got Al Bundy, y'all know who Al Bundy is. I'm telling y'all, like KJ, I told KJ, bro, let me tell you something, this shit is real. You get one fight at these niggas. They ain't in our classification. You guys get one fight at them. Are they gonna say, we'll get that shit in the mouth? Or they're gonna be like, boy, this nigga fucked us up. You get one try. It's time to get paid, dog. All that yelling at Aaron doing, I'm telling y'all niggas sorry and fuck. You guys like that shit? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a motivational thing. Wake up. Wake up and let's go, dog. That's what I'm saying, like, dog. I don't know how y'all said last night, but last night I was like, two in the morning. I didn't see. Like, man, these niggas are gonna get tomorrow, but yes. I can't play. I'm telling you, I'll do anything to go ahead and put a helmet on and hit them guy in front of me. When you guys walk out of that click, clack, click, and you hit the crowd, ah, I'll do anything for that moment. You guys got that moment. Yo, enjoy the moment. Let's ride. Let's ride. I'm telling y'all, we walking into a nine-round fight. Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao about to fight right now. Who y'all gonna be is a question. 
I was in the project's lesson, I was still riding sports And I wrap my wrist with PBS's and I may have thought He's a savage young boy I took so much of losses, made it sad That's good, that's good, that's good you know if I related to the money, I don't know nothing. I just used to see him walk to the county. I'm for the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them niggas. When you take off, I'm back and try to rescue them niggas. I can't smash the like you can get the rest of them niggas. I ain't gotta get my best you just get the revenue, niggas. Hey, 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 It's what we wanted. It's what we came to do. Work for this shit. Yeah, I'm good. I'm feeling great, nigga. Body bagging, nigga, that's all they knew. We finna turn up, man. You know what it is. We ain't gonna do too much talking. 41 minutes, man, 41. What's the sweat? What's it, Joet? No, what's it? Hey, come off on that. What's it, Joet? Give me the Joet. 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 Uh, Joet. 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 Let's go! Let's Turn me up, man! Let's go! Yeah! Lord, I pray, God, that you will strengthen us, God. Tonight, Father, let us do the supernatural, God. Let us, oh God, go outside of the things that we think are normal, God, and depend on you and not on our own strength, not on our own ability. For your word declares, God, I can do all things through Christ which give me strength, Father. Lord, I pray tonight, God, as these men take the field tonight, God, I pray, God, that you'll be with them, God, through the floodwaters, God, that you never leave them nor forsake them, God. As they call upon your name, God, answer them, God. Lord, God, you know what they have need of tonight, God. So, Father, I thank you for meeting every need, God, for you are Jehovah Jireh, God. Lord, I pray tonight, God, that you would shield them tonight, God, for thou art a shield for us. Our glory, the lift of our head tonight, God. So we thank you in advance, God, for what you're about to do. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, I was ready for it. I was ready. I was ready for it. Straight down here. 
get it. I want to see you in the end zone. I'm going to meet you down tonight. Yes, sir. Hey, let's play. Let's do what we do. Let's start right here. How you start is how you finish. All right, let's play fast. Let's play good. Tonight, here we go. Seatbelts on me. Seatbelts on three. One, two, three. Seatbelt. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do go, fam. Let's do it for Fred. Let's man. go. We got in the back of him. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no respect. Hey, you might think I'm dumb. I'm just 17 with a whole lot of money. Fuck you, bitch. I hopped up by that. Tell me who, if you don't like me, why you worry about what I do? <laughs> Yeah. We gotta have a physical game. Hey, listen, the only way we win is with us five up front. If we don't get it done, we don't have a chance. It's up to you guys. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all boys. Y'all make a mistake out there. We're not gonna have a perfect game. I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. We're not gonna have a perfect game. We just gotta keep fighting through adversity, alright? Just keep doing that. We need to be straight. Yeah, yeah, that's how you get better. You fight it. Hey, our boys, fight through that shit. Our boys, this is the last game for the rest of our lives. Let's go, last first game. Here we go. How do you want to be remembered, gentlemen? How does this line want to be remembered here at Western High School? Hey, five, five on me, five, five on three. One, two, three. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Oh, 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 I need y'all away. Let's go, man. It's our first touch, man. First touch. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Solid, solid. Let's go, nigga. Let's go, nigga. Let's go. 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 This is like bullet store like that. You said she coming back.
something last week when you were up. Stop what you're fucking doing. I told you something last week when you were up 34 nothing at halftime. Get your eyes on me. Okay? We come out every game and we fight like we're down by two. They got two bullshit touchdowns. A double fucking pass and one that was set up by a block punt. Okay? We're gonna slow things down a little bit in the second half and get some run going to help protect Con to help protect Colin. We're gonna fix another thing on the sprint out to help protect to the backside. We'll fix that. Black shirts, you keep playing fucking defense and get us the damn ball. Yes, coach? Yes, coach. Go, go see your coaches. Go that yeah, way. They run a hurry up. Which is red ball, right? And he's getting over here late. Another big play. What is there to coach up? Meanwhile. So right now it's on y'all. It ain't on me. Because when everything is how it's supposed to be, it works out. When y'all doing y'all own thing, right? The little things that we don't think matters, right? The discipline stuff. Ha ha ha, joking, we got the words, we think the words mean shit. When they don't, if we're not gonna be doing what we're supposed to do, you can be the best player in the world, you ain't where you're supposed to be. We give up easy touchdowns. So now we gotta dig ourselves, we see here what our offense is doing right now. We, now we gotta dig ourselves out of that and hope that our offense can get going. And we gotta put up 21 points in a shutout in order to take this game. Make sense? Guys, come on man, I told you it's a fight. Y'all keep fighting. Be straight, y'all keep fighting. Yes, I don't, I, they didn't do, I told y'all, trick play coming. They gonna go power. Y'all, they did nothing we didn't warn expecting. Zorro, Zorro, Rigo, Rigo! Rigo, Rigo, Rigo! Get hit! Oh! Oh, 
Get your eyes up. I'm going to say something that the guys that have been here for four years have never fucking heard. I am not proud of you guys tonight. We did not look like a wild... Juju, stop playing with your fucking hair. Get your eyes up, son, or you're going to be rolling all next week. I am not proud of you guys. You guys that have been here four years have never heard me say that. No goddamn leadership out there tonight. Our captain's making some of the biggest mistakes. Can't count 11 on punt. Not blocking people, jumping offside. I told you guys all year that punt was the most important special team and that it would change the game the fucking fastest. And we went out there like duck. We had all the momentum. We were owning them. We changed the whole game. Okay? Changed the whole fucking game by laying down on that punt. And you kept making bullshit mistakes. And at the end, some of you guys started acting like chumps instead of grown men and fighting. And that very attitude of the tapping out like a little girl at the end is why you're not as great as you could be. Because you don't get what it takes to play like a team or a man yet. Now, a couple years ago, our loss to St. Thomas, the guys that have been here will tell you that propelled us to the best football we played all year. But you guys that are supposed to be captains better get a hold of these, these dudes. And some of you guys, okay, from starters to backups, is this bullshit talking back, whining, making excuses. When I tell you something, close your fucking mouth. Unless I ask you a question, I don't want to hear you. And that's every coach out here and every coach in America. If I ask you what you're thinking or what happened, you can tell me something. If not, you say, yes, sir. We didn't play Wildcat football tonight. No. Okay? We did not play Wildcat football tonight. Very frustrating. Okay? Very frustrating. We have film at 9.30 in the morning, tomorrow. Get your asses here to do film. There'll be no breakfast because losers don't get breakfast. So get something on your own before you get there. Breakfast is for freaking winners, okay? That was not good football tonight, gentlemen. Way too many mistakes, okay? Not just the physical mistakes I can live with. The guy beats you because he's more talented, but the bullshit mental mistakes, huddling with too many guys, Block and run on pass. I, I, I can't even comprehend the stupidity. Okay? Can't comprehend it, but we're going to fix it. We are never going to look like that again. Ever. Run! Run! Starting Run! On the week, uh -oh. at some but the most important thing on the field is definitely stay, so it's this year is definitely all the Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me. If you ain't excited to be out here, you're gonna be great, man. Let's go. Start to frown. It's hard on Monday.